Welcome to Bahamas Educational Express Social Study Lesson Video. In this lesson, we are going to continue with Part B of our lesson, Where is the Bahamas? And in this lesson, our focus is going to be on invisible lines of the earth, lines of latitude, lines of longitude. As you go through this lesson, you will learn to identify the position of Earth. You will identify the lines of latitude and longitude, the equator, the northern hemisphere, the southern hemisphere, the tropic of Cancer and Capricorn, the prime and the Greenwich meridian. You are also going to name the lines of latitude the, the line of latitude that passes through the Bahamas. Here are the vocabulary words that you will come up in this lesson. Latitude, longitude, equator, northern hemisphere, southern hemisphere, tropics of Cancer, and the tropics of Capricorn. But last but not least, the prime or the Greenwich Meridian. Let's look at our KWL grid. And you know, I want you to look at your grid because you should have it in the front of you. And I want you to, in the far left column, what I already know about the Bahamas. Then I want you to write what I would like to know about the Bahamas. Now we are going to save the column on the right to complete after we have done the video, watching the video or completed our lesson. And you're going to fill in what I know now. Here is a map of the Bahamas. <clears throat> Here we know that the Bahamas is an archipelago, main group of islands that are close to each other. Here is another map showing the Bahamas. In this map, we are going to show um, our neighboring countries, two of them, and we're going to look at United States, and we are the part of the United States that the Bahamas is close to is Florida, the state of Florida. Another country is Cuba. We are close to Cuba. So Cuba is also our neighboring country. Then we have that broken line. That is the equator. So here is a blank map. Let's see if you can name all of the continents, identify them. Great, let's go and see how well you did. North America, you got that? Great. What about South America? Excellent. And that's Europe. Europe is always on the left-hand side. Then we have Asia. We have Africa, we have Antarctica, and last we have Australia. I know you would have done well. Great job. Let's talk about the oceans. Do you know where they are? Let's look at them. The Arctic Ocean, the Indian Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, the Pacific Ocean, and do you know what is the last ocean? That's right, the Southern Ocean. Here we have 
another representation of Earth. And here we, you notice that the lines that are going, you will have them horizontal as well as vertical. Let's learn what these lines are all about. Now we are going to learn about lines of latitude and longitude. Invisible lines of latitude and longitude form a grid over the earth. These lines help to create a coordinated to locate a place accurately. So here you'll see the lines of longitude on the left, lines of latitude. Longitude goes up and down, latitude goes around side to side. The lines that run from north and south of the map or a grid are the lines of longitude. So lines of longitude goes from north to south, up or down. Each line runs from the North Pole to the South Pole. So remember, longitude, north, south, up, down. The line of longitude that cuts the Earth in half is called the Prime Meridian. And it is zero degree on the map. Now, this is also what we will be called the line of Greenwich. If we go on to the other side of the earth. Lines of latitude, let's learn about that. The lines that run from East and West are the lines of latitude. Remember, lines of latitude are also called parallel lines. This is because they are parallel or always the same distance from each other. So we have lines of latitude. East to West. The Earth is divided into lots of lines called lines of latitude, lines of longitude. We did that. So here you will see on the left, what do you think they are? That's right, lines of latitude. On the right, Definitely, it will be lines of longitude, north to south. The line of latitude that passes through Long Island and Exuma Keys in the Bahamas is called the Tropic of Cancer. Now the measurement for that line is 23 and a half degree on the map. So the Tropic of Cancer passes through two of our Bahamian islands and they are Long Island and the Exuma and Keys. The Tropic of Cancer we have also the Tropic of Capricorn, and we also have the equator. So in between the Tropic of Cap Cancer and Capricorn, we have an area called the tropics, and that is where the Bahamas is located in the tropics. The Tropic of Cancer lies 23 and a half degree north, and the Tropic of Capricorn lies 23 and a half degrees south of the equator.
The area of the earth which lies between both of these is called the tropics. Imagine the earth cut in half. The northern hemisphere is anywhere north of the equator, whilst the southern hemisphere is anywhere south of the equator. So north is up, south is down. Northern hemisphere, equator, southern hemisphere. North Pole, South Pole. Northern Hemisphere, Southern Hemisphere. Let's recap. What are lines of latitude and which are longitude? Now, we are going to put them into these boxes. Now I want you to now pause the video and see if you can get them correct. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay, what will go in the line of latitude? Which one will be there? That's right, the equator is a line of latitude. Okay, is there another line of latitude? That's right, the Tropic of Cancer. Are there any other? The Tropic of Capricorn. They are lines of latitude. Let's go to the lines of longitude. Let's see if we finish. That will be the Prime Meridian, the Green Ridge Meridian. So the Green Ridge and the Prime, prime Meridian are the two lines of longitude while the equator, the Tropic of Cancer, the Tropic of Capricorn are lines of latitude. Great job. What have you learned? What is an archipelago? A group of island near islands near each other. What are the two places the Bahamas lies between? That's right, Florida and Cuba. What are the lying of latitude. These are imaginary lines drawn around the earth parallel to the equator. What are lines of longitude? These are imaginary lines that join the North Pole to the South Pole. Name the line of longitude that cuts the earth into two halves. Longitude now. Yes, the prime meridian, and it is zero degrees. Now, let's go back and see if we can fill in the correct name to the correct continent. That's first. That's right, North America. Okay, where is South America? Very good. What do we have there? Do we have Europe? Right, that's Africa in the yellow. Okay, what will be? Antarctica, that's right down there. Can we find another one? Australia, that's the orange one. Hmm. Europe is the green one. And so what will be the last one? Asia. Great job. All right, let's look at the oceans. Let's fill those in. The first one will be Indian Ocean. Next one, 
Arctic Ocean. And we will have Pacific Ocean. Pacific will be on both sides. Southern Ocean. And last but not least, we will have the Atlantic Ocean. Oh, you did a marvelous job. That has been our lesson on where is the Bahamas part B or part two.